Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting to one of the suggestions. Guys, this is going to be hard. Like, I pray I'm able to like, like react to this in any because it's actually ten percent my faith. So we're going to be reacting to prove that Jesus was not hanged on the cross, and I will accept Islam tonight. Whoa, guys. Yo, if you can prove this, it's gonna change a lot. Like, it's gonna change a lot. But I don't think someone can prove it. Like, what do you think? Wait, Jesus was crucified in the cross. Like, there, there are a lot of facts to that. Guys, let's get straight into this. Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition, but my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I yes. believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life this is the proof yes. but if i can just have that hallelujah i would turn tonight to be a Let muslim me. i prove this to you the brother said now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place he is prepared to accept islam tonight hmm. let us see man says i want to find the truth but generally they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million suns can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes. Guys, someone tried to me this on my channel, guys. And I'm going to clarify this right now. Guys, you know when you're standing in front of a bright light, even if you're closing your eyes, you can feel, you can feel it. Like, you'll be able to feel the light in your eyes, like, you can see you, you, even if you're closing your eyes you can see like except you're blind but if you are not blind and someone owns the lights even if you're sleeping guys you feel the light like guys let's continue guys just need to say that it's closed but now if he opens himself to say let's have a look what does the book say the book says hmm. Luke chapter 24 verse 36 that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Yes. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the Last Supper. So after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there Ten of them, ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum. Same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, Salam Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because... Guys, wait, this question is kind of funny, guys. Because Jesus died and... I feel he, he was dead for three days. Then there after that, he came back to life. So, if you see a dead person, guys, you're going to be terrified. Like, and I, I really need to put this out there, guys. Like, I feel it's kind of wrong for some people to want to pick some parts in. I feel if I read the Quran, I won't say some parts are correct and some parts are wrong. Like... It's, it's a book that is hold sacred, so you don't have the right. I feel no one in this life have the right to pick a sacred book and say this part are right and this part are wrong. Like, you don't know, you were not there. It was written way, way back before we were born. So, I feel if you don't believe in it, don't believe in it. Don't come picking a verse and saying oh this is what i believe in and this is what i don't believe in the, like if you don't believe in the whole test like 
you can't say Luke is from God and John is from man like guys let's get back into this though because they thought he was a spirit am I quoting correctly your scripture yeah, yeah. yes so I'm asking did it look like a spirit did it look like a ghost a spook they said no then I said why should they think the man is a spirit we didn't didn't look like one Christian gets puzzled because they say he they thought no. that he was a spirit so I said you see the guys you know after that judgment and if we die we're gonna have this body guys even if your soul is gonna look like you like you're not gonna change it, it can't happen they're gonna have this same body so when Jesus came they were shocked like whoa is it oh, wow like he's a dead person whoa I, I don't I, I, I really can't see what he's trying to prove here though guys let's get back though reason is that the disciples of Jesus is how are you they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master Jesus was hanged on the cross they had heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost you know the spirit had come out he had died they had heard from hearsay people talking that now he's dead and buried for three days all the knowledge is from hearsay people talking because mark chapter 14 verse 50 he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of jesus all his disciples forsook him and fled all so i'm yes. asking does all mean all in your language you english man he said yes so they were not there all the knowledge from what they heard so on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he's not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, says behold my hands and my feet in me and ahua i'm the same fellow man what's wrong with you fools can't you see in me most certainly i and ahua husuni wanzuru say handle me and see fine ruha laysa lahu lamun wa zamun for a spirit has no flesh and bones as you see me have and they felt him and they believed guys he resurrected like i don't know why you guys uh, i feel he's underestimating jesus god like when you say jesus is a god he is the son of god which makes him a god a lot of you are gonna say is a lie he's like god but i believe now, this is my faith here we're talking about i believe he's a god so he died he resurrected tv days when Jesus did the miracle in the Bible, when he resurrected Lazarus, yeah, after three days, like, wasn't he supposed to be stinking and smelling? But he came out, he came out, like, I don't believe you guys, I feel it's supposed to be written in the Quran. There's nothing impossible for God to do. So, I don't know why you guys are, I don't know why Ahmed Didaz is trying to limit God like he's god like there's nothing impossible for him to do so he he's forever mighty like you can't predict what he's gonna do like we we can't it's him trying to leave a symbol for us like so when he said three days later jesus came back to life he resurrected the tomb was open so like guys this is a fact like this is a fact here guys Let's get back to it. Not for joy means they were overjoyed and wondered what happened, man. We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says to assure them further that this is not what they are thinking. He says, "Aindakum hahuna taam." Have you got here anything to eat? Fana waluhu juz am min samakin wa shay an min shahadi asalin fa akhaza wa akala kudamahum. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb, and he took it and he ate. In the very side to prove what? Whoa. There is a ghost, he's a spook, he's a spirit. What is he proving? 
I am a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet you said, look, he is. He said he is not a spirit, hmm. you say he is. Amazing, amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I am not, you say he is. Jesus says, I am not God, I am a servant of God, you say, no, he's God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yawm Al-Qiyamah, they say, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self, he no, he can do everything. I say, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I'm the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay. A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yom al everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Yeah, that wasn't written. Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling that you he's is not, so and you say, no, he is. I said, this I is this. the Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lai rjiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. Hmm. Guys, like, I'm trying my best to like say this with open mind guys like me being open-minded i i don't believe it was written god ate jesus ate fish and honeycomb like i don't think it ever happened but i really need to get back to the bible like i'm really slacking as a christian bro like i really need to get back to my bible but i'm gonna check this out right after this video but i feel it was said like he died Let's use this for instance. If he didn't die, what happened? Like, he died. He resurrected. And he went to see his disciples before he ascended. Because I feel if he, he proved that he is cut by dying and resurrected. Guys, when he says, look at his hand, guys. So they can see the nail in his hand and his foot because he was nailed to death and like I don't feel that can be fabricated I don't feel that can be a lie guys I don't believe so like that is a proof guys I have a lot of video installed for you guys guys like a video from a Muslim actually proving this wrong like he he's actually a muslim as far i don't know what i'll call him the war he knows the muslim he knows the islam religion very well and i'm watching him today guy like he is good like i need to show some of you these videos i know that some contradiction in some things but that some things we, we can never explain i feel that some things we can never explain but we need the wisdom of god to be able to explain it. But this guy, like, I don't believe it's fact. I don't believe it. Like, the proofs were not tangible. And please don't tell me I'm closing my eyes. And I, 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 I don't, even if it's so Please don't say that in the comment section. Don't. Don't. It's, like, some of you actually insult me a lot, though. Like, please, I'm human, too. Like, I'm human. And I'm telling my own honest opinion. If you want to discuss with me, guys, you can actually message me on Instagram and 
We'll do this, guys. We'll do this. But please don't insult me in my comment section, guys. Guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.